Today, I'm going to talk about the guy who happened to be getting clout from bullying a nine-year-old kid named Quayne Bales. His name is Dom. And Dom, or Dominic, at, as I should call him by his full name, has proceeded to get clout from bullying, cyberbullying a kid who's having a tough time with re with bullying from the out from the outside world, and it goes to show people like that who are like very very selfish. Of others do this for clout. This guy has made fun of Quayden Bales for the way he looks, which I don't condone that anyone else should be doing that. I don't condone it at all because it is not a good reputa reputation on your part. In fact, you're going to get a lot a uh, a lot of backlash from what you did, and what you did was extremely and utterly stupid. And that's what this video is t today, and it starts now. What this kid was doing was. No, what this team was doing was just utterly stupid, and for him to not give a fuck about the little kid is just wrong. And the fact that he would say that he wanted to delete, delete the tweet, but he likes the likes and follows too much is just one of those examples of uh, of one of those people who are like hungry for fame and if you're only doing this for fame well buddy guess what life's not life itself is not going to get you anywhere like that if you don't show compassion then you're not human and that's the reason why this guy has gotten so much of a backlash from this then of course he had the audacity to tweet this out by saying hashtag we stand with Quayden after he called him ugly motherfucker. That's what he called him. By posting that tweet earlier. He did that for fame and fortune. This little boy living his life fine. Y'all need to pike the fuck down and stop trying to be a hero. See, another selfish treat from Dom himself. I mean, come on. He's the reason why today cyberbullying and bullying still happens around the world. And it is not cool to bully a nine year old child. Because all you want to do is make him, is call him out for the way he looks like. Like, come on. And that kid, and that teenage boy, whoever, whoever his parents are, hasn't raised him right. Because he would go at little kids for fame and fortune. Like, come on, don't do that. 
these motherfuckers got my Addy pics before I lost weight, my old school, and my Insta. Y'all are bugging. Good night. I mean, of course they got your address and everything. I mean, you proceeded to bully a child. You get what you deserve. You really get what you could des what you deserve, Dominic. You get what you deserve. Hopefully, I never become famous so no one sees that tweet. Uh, yeah. That is because you are a cloud chaser. Of course, you're not going to be famous. No cloud chaser who's irrelevant is going to be getting a verified tick badge on your profile. On your Twitter account. I mean, come on. You have to be the worst human scum on this planet. Y'all mad buggy. Yeah, right. People are actually coming after you because you did this most shittiest thing on the internet. And keep in mind, folks, he started this whole cloud chasing thing when he saw a tweet that was made about Quayden Bales for being bullied. And that tweet happened to be the one that I will probably find uh, soon enough. I get at least 100 locations every two minutes. Bruh, I can't do this. Crying emoji. See? Now you're starting to get the backlash coming to you because karma will come get your ass and kick your ass all the way down to the streets. You know the streets are made, of, made out of granite, right? Which means your ass could be hurt so badly you'll never walk a day in your life. Me going back on Twitter to all the hate comments. Yeah, because you made fun of a little kid who's nine years old. I mean, what kind of human being are you? A human scum, that's what you are. I mean, come on. Your parents probably never teach you how to be that way to a child. And speaking of all the hate comments, I, I just might have found some right now because, well, here's the thing. I love the hate comments at, coming at Dom here. Or Dominic. Because these hate comments are the reason why Dominic is bullying a child. Damn bruh, I hope this account don't get suspended again. Well, unfortunately for you, you're right. It wasn't suspended, but at least at the time of making this video, the tweet you made had to be deleted by me because I reported it to Twitter. So your fame stops there because you couldn't delete the tweet. And for anyone else that didn't know, at the time, Quentin Bales was in a news article back in 2016. He was five years old back in December 2015, which is why his birthday is on December 2010. And for those of you that spread the rumors about Quentin Bales, well, this goes to show that today he's nine years old and in 2020, he, he will be turning 10 this year. He said, good morning everyone, just woke up to a new 2,000 people telling me how much of a bad person I am. I'm gonna be sad at school today. Uh, no fucking joke. 
no shit. I mean, you did a bad thing. You're about to get backlash. You're gonna get what you deserved. Period. End of story. Like, dude. You're a grown-ass teenage boy who shouldn't be picking up little kids. And for you to continue the bullying tradition in America shows us how much of a st stupid and a bad country we are today because we cannot stop bullying still. What is wrong with you? Seriously, what's wrong with you? And then, he, of course, he tweeted out something like this, which says, Twitter want me dead, call me Lizzo. And he pinned that tweet. Well, you are fat. A little bit. And you're not edgy and cool like you say you are on your on your bio. You're not edgy and cool. You, you only did that to a child so you can get gain more followers and likes. Like what what the hell are you? A lonely ass person? I mean come on. You honestly got friends who support you all the way for no reason. Like you are obviously the most selfish, shittiest person on planet Earth. I don't know who the fuck would be friends with you. After what you did to Queen Bayes. You should be ashamed of yourself already. My, I hope my crush don't think I'm a bad person. Well... I'm pretty sure she does. Some people say it's he because someone thought you were gay. But I don't tend to believe that yet. But if you are gay, well, still fuck you. Because your crush will not like you. He tweets this tweet by saying, I'm so happy I wasn't born with fucked up teeth. But then this person said, but you were born with a fucked up mind? And the answer to, and the answer to that question is, yes, he was born with a fucked up mind. This person tweets, he's a troll. He needs to, attention to feel good about himself. And yes, he does. He needs attention because he can't live a normal life like everyone else. Which is pretty sad. And he has to make fun of the kid by cloud chasing. You call someone ugly, but you hiding 70% of your face? Fucking pussy. Yes, he is a fucking pussy. Because all he wanted to do is get clapped. And this is what he gets. He wants to bully a kid. I'm bullying kid. He'll get the lesson he deserves one day. Then this person writes to do up dumb says the hell's wrong with you you right in the head um to i'll answer this that for you no he is not right in the head he insulted a nine-year-old that's all he did he insulted a nine-year-old for cloud are you fucking serious what is wrong with you everything is wrong with dumb because he he bullied a kid. Everything's wrong with him. He doesn't have compassion. This guy writes, grow up, you sad prick. And he is a sad prick because he was once a nobody and now he wants to be a, a amateur somebody who wants all the likes and retweets like for no reason and he's not even 
and didn't even earn a verified a verified check mark so yeah that that Dominic guy is an asshole and he shouldn't be on earth getting clouds by bullying a kid why is everyone so mean to me and then this guy tweets at him saying you expect people to be kind to you with that attitude of yours please and i agree with that because again don shouldn't pick on a little nine-year-old boy who already received bullying from his school. I mean, come on. Why take it down nine-year-old still when he already experienced that he got bullied? I mean, come on. Show some compassion, not ignorance. Now here are the roasting tweets. Sar says, okay, slide, side show Bob. And he kind of looks like side, side show Bob because, well, look at the hair. Yeah, that's the yikes. I mean, come on. Why does he look like that? I don't know why. But he really needs to get that fix once in a while. He looked like Toad from Super Mario, and he kind of does, in a way. I mean, it's funny, too. I mean, seriously. He's being roasted after he got a lot of backlash. This guy tweets at him, I is bro, which means that he looks like a little roach that happens to be the size of the twig so yeah he looks like a he looks like a twig indeed I mean the difference is, is uncanny yeah dude definitely shouldn't have said that but what he said but it's really counterproductive fighting bullying with more about bullying now, I'm here for it. Some people deserve to feel like shit. Well, I feel great. Uh-huh. Well, well, you don't look great, mate. Yeah, that's kind of one of those reasons why Dominic is getting all the backlash he deserves. I mean... If he says he feels great, then he should rethink what he said now because the backlash has 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 got to him ever since he wanted to be a viral sensation for for bullying a kid. I mean, why would you bully a kid? It's it's just not human. And this person tweets at him by saying, you realize you are talking about a child. You are an awful person for figuratively kicking the child when he is down. I don't know how you could think this comment is okay, but I'm guessing you've never lost someone to suicide. And that is how you can be so cruel. And he is. He is a cruel person. But he doesn't, doesn't care. All he wanted was the clout. Because he thinks it's funny, which it's not. And one day, when he does have a son of his own, he will realize that. He will realize that and suffers the consequences of his own actions by for making fun of Queen Bales. I mean, come on. That nine-year-old kid did not deserve any more bullying than he already gotten from his school. It's just not right. This just shows you're part of the problem. A nine-year-old boy wants to commit suicide when most of us didn't even know 
what suicide was at that age. That this little boy did nothing wrong and does not deserve to be treated this way. Facts. And there are some comments about it. And I agree with one of those comments that that you should prevent bullying from happening. You shouldn't let bullying happen. You should prevent it from happening. If you see someone get bullied, prevent it. Don't let it continue. This person writes, yeah, I know, plenty of people with disabilities aren't suicidal. It's how y'all and sensitive people treat him that makes him feel this way. Facts, exactly. That's why Dom, or Dominic, as I call him again, is doing. He, that is the example of why he's doing this. Literally go to hell, says Carly preach. This guy treats, make fun of a child with a disability and disrespect a female. Two reasons why you're just a sorry excuse of a little boy. Motherfuckers in this generation really need to learn something called respect and common courtesy. Exactly. And that's something this guy doesn't have. I mean... It's so annoying that someone like Dominic would in like insult his child for the way he looks when he clearly has a condition that caused him to look like that. And he should not be made fun of for it. I think you're generally not okay. You're bullying a disabled child, yet you're the least attractive man I ever see in my entire life. SMH, and I thought oddly guys are friendly. Ooh. This girl called him ugly. Like, like it does serve Dominic for, like... Talking shit to a nine-year-old child who already got bullied for most of his life. I mean, come on. Dominic had a comic. He had a comic. This tweet this person responded to, which is now deleted by Don, which says, Nah, man, the internet don't sleep. Welcome to hell. This person says, Through cake as nigga, I see why you think it's funny to hate on a nine-year-old getting bullied. Grow the fuck up. And that's basically what he should should be doing. Grow the fuck up. Because because he hasn't grown the fuck up. And that is just sad. Another person writes to Dom and says after Dom says, why is everyone so mean to me? Because you look like Side Joe, Side Show Bob. And then they are more roast. Like this person who says, but you look like this. You probably still want to do it. Then Claudia writes, you look like this. Grow up. Nav Tavo tweeted. You build like this, L-N-F-A-O. Jason tweets, homeboy out here with his hair looking like a mop and he trying to say something. Space Queen writes, boy, how are you skinning with these tit with titties? Keith says, you do realize that most dwarves look like this, right? Don replied, yeah, ugly as fuck. And then Mad Balad says, says this guy. With two skeleton emojis. At the end of the day, don't go and bully a nine-year-old child. 
if you do that, you will be getting roasted back. And your ego will be broken. Because your ego is full of shit. And you know that. Dominic, you know that for sure. I mean, seriously. You're like, what, 17, 18, and you're picking on, on, on a nine-year-old? That's not really mature of you. I, and I do pray that nothing bad happens to you. But, unfortunately, karma will come and get you one day. And you will face the consequences. Oh, and by the way, before I go, I prefer if you don't have a girlfriend ever. I prefer if you stay single forever because you are not made to have kids. And you're not made to mingle with a girlfriend either. You are made to be a sad, lonely asshole who will, who will spend the rest of his life bullying little kids online. That's what you are. And that's the saddest thing of all time if you are not going to care about your own son one day. If you even choose to marry a wife. Which you probably will not do. Because of, of tweets like this. Tweets like this is the reason why you will not getting be getting laid. So I prefer if you stay away from any girl you meet. Because they won't date, date a guy who cannot even care about his own son, or better yet, his own future son.